Yeah, Uzi, you know so Fago. He said, D do you know him? <laughs> bro, what is going on, bro? Now you got him all... Now you got him all spamming fucking that... No... Actually, yeah, I feel like we should play arena. Hell no! Hell no! Hell no! Hell no! We're gonna get shitted on in that. Together, where are you gonna land that? Where are you gonna land that? I got so big, I can't do it. So big, like. You get that gun. You get that gun. I'm gonna get this one. Hitting that shit, boy. I got one. I got one. You. You. I wish me and so big was. Play with the stars tonight. I really need a little Uziver and Sofago clout. Sofago is at the top of the underground right now. He recently just got signed to Travis Scott's Cactus label, Cactus Jack, and Sofago is amazing. A little Uziver is my favorite artist of all time. And I'm really stoked for the pink tape and pink heart. So I think they'll make a fire club. I know Sofago looks up to little Uziver, very heavily influenced. I'd say play with Cardi as well and Chris Brown, some of his influences. But So Fago, a little Uzi Vert song, there's rumors that it may be happening. A little Uzi Vert has, has given the co sign already, so I think this would be a fire collab. And they both have projects dropping that, are, that have pink in their name. So I think this would be really interesting to see if they collab in the future because they're, they're both so talented. So Fago's singing voice. Reminds me of a young Chris Brown. Sprinkle some more auto tune, some new generation beats. That's Sofago. Sofago is just atmospherically amazing. Just the pockets that he reaches. I recently heard this brand new leak that had a very Travis Scott vibe to it. And you could tell that um, Travis had definitely huge input in it. So I would love a Travis Scott and Sofago collab. As well, I'd love a Sofago and the Uzi Vert collab. That would be fire. But yeah, those guys, those guys making a track together, you tell me how far that would be. That would be amazing. Playboy Cardi officially passes NBA Youngboy for the most monthly listeners between them two. He's at 15 million now, and NBA Youngboy is at 14 million. And in my opinion, Playboy Cardi is a lot, a lot better artist. I wouldn't say overall better artist, but I definitely love the niche that Playboy Cardi does a lot better than NBA Youngboy. Don't get me wrong, Youngboy is a fire artist. Like Youngboy has some bangers, some slappers. I'm just not really a fan of like the street music. You know what I mean? Like I know I know Playboy Cardi definitely does have like some street lyrics, but I'm just not really a fan of that subgenre of the NBA Youngboy style. And I think NBA Youngboy is probably one of the biggest artists in the game right now. I would say like like who's the biggest in the game right now is probably Drake, Little Baby, Little Dirk, NBA Youngboy. Uzi, Cardi, you know, but out of those two, I love Playboy Cardi just a lot better than NBA Youngboy. And don't get me wrong, NBA Youngboy is fire, but yeah. But yeah, I think this is really dope news because I'm a vamp and I love Playboy Cardi, so this is some hype news and a huge W for our community. Because Playboy Cardi's brand new tour looks absolutely flames and a whole lot of red was absolutely flames, so. This is a big W for Playboy Cardi. It looks like little TJ says that him and Cardi B are the top artists in New York. Pretty much the king and queen of New York. That's what little TJ says. In my opinion, I think Cardi B is definitely the queen of New York, but little TJ, he's, he's like decent in my opinion. His last project was very, very mid, very mid. T Little TJ has some bangers, like some really good songs. And the songs I do like by him, I love. But overall, I just feel like he's still a little bit of an A Boogie clone. And Boogie's, Boogie's a goat. Like I think Boogie is a lot, a lot better skill wise than Little TJ. Little TJ is all right for me. But Cardi B, Cardi B, Cardi B is definitely the queen. Cardi B has unstoppable, undeniable hits. And she's just really fire, in my opinion. Really fire. But it'd be kind of cool to see how their collab would sound like. But I definitely disagree with his statement. It looks like Yeet is charging 15k for a feature. And I remember Yeet's feature price used to be like $1,000. 1500 to 200 bucks. Yeet, Yeet blew up so fast this year, it's absolutely insane. 
in my opinion i feel like his feature part should be way higher only 15k for a verse i feel like it should definitely be at least 100k 50k so underground rappers they're looking for some clout buy a feature right now when it's cheap but here's like another opinion that i have since he drops so much music it really doesn't it really doesn't matter like you're not gonna get that much exposure getting a yee feature but at the same time as you may also get a you may also get some really good exposure from getting a yee feature but i'm just super stoked for each brand new project and yee's one of my favorite artists right now favorites so i think 15k for a feature that's that's a pretty incredible pretty incredible rate